I think they may struggle with seeing the different fractions in the picture and deciding which one they want to use for the number line. So I think that will be a source of good discussion in the group. And um, it'll be interesting to see what they like what fraction they identify in the picture and where they put it on the number line and if they all agree that that's the fraction that they see in that picture. So I'm interested to see what, because some of the pictures, they could be multiple different fractions. I think that they will, because we're kind of used to doing hands-on learning in here, so I don't think it's going to be anything out of the ordinary. Yeah. And the minds on task is a which one doesn't belong, and it's very much, like we do these a lot as our minds on to get students thinking about it. One thing that I have changed a little bit is one of the pictures that was supposed to be in the minds on, and, and I've changed that because I think that it would be the one that students would just automatically pick and I want them to think more about the numbers than the mm -hmm. visual of it. So um, a lot of them will look directly at the visual. And so in one of the minds on that we did, we have three tenths and then we have some fractional representations of parts of a whole and parts of a set and a number line. Immediately, they, most of them went to the actual fraction that has a numerator and denominator because they said it visually looked different. And so I wanted to get them thinking more about the number than the visual. So in this picture, there all the visuals are different, so that can't be one of the reasonings that they pick. They have to actually look at the numbers. And, um, and so that's why I switched it. So you'll notice it's a little bit different than the plan.